and there's nothing more annoying than being in the middle of a dungeon to get game over because of data drain. Now there is co there are codes that prevent infection from increasing. I recommend not doing that because it's cheating. What fun is there in playing a game when you ch cheat, you know? Alrighty then. Uh, okay. Now I'm only going to do the first one of these just so I can show you it and give you tips for later. Um, the rest will be done off screen. Now each server has their own uh, tag series series of quests. So yeah. I have to do is beat him. There he is. Now these guys are all weak to wood based magic. I don't have any of them. Now, if you have a speed charm, this is the best place to use it. Oh, that's wood. They are. And these guys are all um, earth-based, so wood is best against them. That sucked. Can't get off my thunder dance, jeez. All right, I don't have the uh, MP4 yet. That's the only downside to having high level equipment. Your MP is too low already. Now, the Goblin Cap is a let's see here, rare equipment, I believe, yep. <laughs> it comes with Majle, which decreases a target's SP over time. It is worse than my Nomad's Hood and gets rid of rep, so it's not recommended to equip it. The only thing it actually does increase is your, um, <laughs> your strength against physical-based uh, decretions. I saw something else I want to show you. Alright. This is grunt food. <coughs> this comes in handy when you're making grunties. Which I'll mention later, but it's not what I wanted to show you. It's over here? No. Can't find it. Oh well. It's recommended just put in the, uh... The goblin set into your safety deposit box. <laughs> or selling it. But I recommend keeping all your rare items, unless you don't need them. <coughs> and if you don't need them, I recommend giving them to a certain character who likes rare items. Alright. Oh. 
Uh, saw a strange girl character in the dungeon of Delta Exploring Haunted Sea of Sand. It was a little girl with long hair, but it didn't look like an another player. She was kind of white, like a ghost, and moved without sound. Oh, and the music might have stopped, too. I could be mistaken, but if anyone sees her, please tell me. Oh. It's from Waffle. I tried a random keyword, but I... But a warning message came up and I couldn't go in. It was Delta Closed Oblivious Twin Hills. Anyone know anything about it? This is a lower level area, by the way. Discovering Primitive Touchstone. <coughs> Alright, I was expecting a mail, but... Oh yeah, those goblin quests you can only do alone, so don't bring anyone with you. But at this time I recommend... Black Rose. Yes. Um, let's see here, it's level 10. How low are we? One. Yeah. Not gonna happen. <laughs> um, hmm. I think it's a good spot to stop. Only an hour set. It's pretty short, but I'm gonna do some things off screen like, um, wait. That's level three. Now I'll do this one, and after this I'll be done. Alright. Let's see, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep my fairy up for now. Alright, this is what I wanted to show you in the other area. First, I gotta kill this guy. When that protect brick happens, you can daydream, so... Yeah. I recommend using them earlier. Um, early in the game, your infection gauge doesn't increase as much, so you're safe to use it. If you use them ten times, you'll get a, uh, re a real book, by the way. Oh. Up. That is a interesting little phenomenon that happens every now and then. Okay, hold on. It's getting kind of annoying. I'll play that later. These are symbols that give you increasements. That gave me up crow, and as you can see, it has a sword with a sword spinning around it. That means my physical attack is increased. The center icon represents what is being increased. The thing spinning around it is um, <coughs> the actual increasement itself. So, if you have a sword with swords flying around it, it is a physical increase. If you have a shield with swords flying around it, it's a magical increase. <coughs> Let's see those phantom blades. It's Katata. That's more my level. But I'm gonna head to the Spring of the Mist and throw it in there. Oh, 
the grunt food. <laughs> now your HP does not increase over time, so you need to heal. Your SP does that, so which is really nice. <laughs> Looks like I made the magic, the magic portal up here. Alright, now he'll ask... He'll ask if you dropped a golden axe or a silver axe. If you say a golden or silver axe, he'll give you a golden or silver axe. If you say neither... So it's upgraded to a spark blade, which I already have equipped. Um, if he is not able to increase it, he'll give you the item back, as well as a golden and silver axe. Now, I also recommend when you're here to clear out the field. I'm not going to due to time restraints. The world of play state of the key. Makotoni Ariato was I must. Kono area wa Kose de the Hasson notame. Taihen Fuante na Jo Taito not theory. Sejo na play a dekina kuna teimas. Tadachini field ni motori. Gate out of the town, a Kaili Kurasai. Dameda Koko de Akirametara, I so Taskeranai Sakini Sundemio. All right, now this is either a um, really bad administrator or a um, computer generated one because he just ignores us when we go by him. All right, let's do a use a fairy orb. I've discovered, and it might just be a coincidence, but if you're able to open a chest in an area right before the magic portal opens, there's like a 50-50 chance it'll be a chest. Chest, instead of a monster. <coughs> of course you might just get lucky like I am and not, oh, not get anything. Alright, for those that are actually doing the Ryu books when you get it, one of them is destroy X amount of breakable items. A good way to do that is to find a place like this, break everything inside of it, leave, and repeat. Because when you leave this room, they respawn. <coughs> also, collect these um, burning oils and anything else. They can be used for trading and whatnot. Alright. Finally, a bot or a monster. Physical, ac physical accuracy is down. 